Hey curious people. So what's Solas getting up to in her shed this week? Well this week I think we are going to be just tearing loads of stuff down. Household electricals, some things I've never done before, some different brands and oh, I have got the heaviest um, mixer base that I just loved up, lugged up to my shed and I'm like what the hell is inside this? Um, but yeah, I've got loads to get through. Um, we're going to be smashing, we're going to be screwing, we're going to be getting hot and bothered in the shed. Anyway, this week's going to be a good one. We've got lots to get through. So, let's crack on. That's the heavy beast. God, we'll do that one in a minute. Okay, so, what have we got first? We have got an ice crusher. So, it does coarse and fine grinding, crushing, whatever you like. That's the jug. Hmm. Hmm. That might come in handy. I'm thinking resin. Um, okay, so, oh, I'm going to put my gloves on. This is all wet. Hope you guys are all good and having a good week. Um, gosh, it's actually a bit, I'm warm already, I'm going to take off my hat, my old, good old trusted hat with my old channel logo on it, I've had this a long time. Right, so, here we have a Livivo, 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 well oh, that's a, that's a nice name isn't it, Livivo. Come to my Le Vivo. <laughs> my lovely Le Vivo crusher. <laughs> it's very light, so I don't have massively high hopes for this, I'll be honest. So, just going to give a snippy snippy on the cordage. Cord and plug. Yoink. Okay, oh, I need to change my attachment here. Give me a moment. Random, it's a big hole of nothing. That's weird. Alright, I wonder if this screws under this. Oh no. Oh, okay. We are very basic here. I mean, I could just cut this. The reason I'm not, it's just basically I just get a little bit of extra cordage, so. Why not? You don't have to. Every little counts. Plastic to go to plastics. Okay. So, this smells oily. How can it... I don't understand how this smells oily, to be honest. But there we are. Not sure I can get in can't get in those at the right angles, so I have to do these two by hand. I mean, what bit actually crushed the... Oh, I see. The ice went in the top, did it? Unless it's missing a bit. Oh, yeah, right, okay. So the ice... Oh, okay, I see come out the ice went in there slightly disconcerting how it smells so oily but well you know I think there's only one thing for it really we need to get a bit smashy smashy in here oh no on a minute that hasn't fallen out yet maybe I didn't maybe I forgot one yeah there's always one isn't there I know oh, there we go oh 
Hang on. Something sharp has made its way into my top somehow. Okay, so. Oh, well, that's, that's already enough for me. You need to ask me twice. Ah, push it. Push it real good. Whoa. Why doesn't it just pull out? I don't get it. I do not understand. A strip of I mean it looks like stainless but I'm not convinced very magnetic so we'll squeeze her out now so I mean, surely it just needs a bit of a smash. Hey, hey, hey. Bouncy plastic. It's the only thing worse than titanium plastic is bouncy plastic. You know, isn't it? Uh, so they screwing from the other way. This does not help me much. God damn it. Oh, hang on. Hang on, there's a big hole. Find a big hole, fill it with a screwdriver and see what happens. Is it doing anything? I don't think so. Does anything come out? Nope, I've got no light, hang on. I don't know what the heck that is down there because that doesn't look actually anything like a screw head so I mean <clears throat> okay There was just one screw and I missed it. You know, there's always one. There's always one. What the heck? So that that's it. That's the motor. Wow. Huh. Hmm. That could probably be used, utilized for cable stripping. Pretty good blade that. It's very sharp. Put that up there. 
plastic detritus, plastic detritus, plastic detritus, and a little motor and some singles wires. So there we are. And a switch. Yeah, of course I want the switch. I'll need the switch behind, am I? going to leave the switch behind so that's your motor ooh rusty goodness nice cog in there nice brass cog at the end of that motor that's what we expect. So, yeah. Oh, look, rusty, rusty. I might actually get this off. Get these cogs out. To get to the motor screws. There we are. That is so rusty. Oh, it undid though. There we go. One little motor. One little motor. It's basically just a massive armature in there hard work to strip unless you're going to chuck it straight in the melting pot so that for me will go into melt motors and transformers a bit more steel minimal metal on there so that might as well go into plastics because they'll um, use a magnet to extract any bits of metal once it's all shredded anyway so there we have it and of course that little tiny board with nothing on it and some singles so that was in that ice crusher thing what an anti-climax i thought there might be some like really nice i don't know cutting grinding blades or something okay so this beast this oh man it was all so wet at least it's, oh my god at least it's on the floor and not my workbench although it's about to be on my workbench this is so heavy how is this magimix so heavy this is going to have one hell of a motor in it let's weigh it up folks and see guesses please take your guess at how heavy this space for this little magimix is i've told you it is heavy that gives you an idea, but what's my idea of heavy? <laughs> How much of a weakling am I? Right. Ready? Five, nearly five and a half kilograms that base is. I mean, what the heck? Wow, look at that. 5.6 kilograms. But obviously some of that is the plug and the cordage so let's eliminate that 5.45 kilograms i mean there's got to be one heck of a motor in here yeah so let's do it let's get stripping <laughs> so There's a big torque screw in there, which looks like it might even be bigger than a 20. No, it's a 20. Okay, so we'll undo this. These are weird rubber bungy things. They almost look like they unscrew. They do. To reveal more torques, like massive. Wow. I do not recall this uh, kind of situation before. So these unscrew, these massive bungy feet. But you can't, I'm just going to pop them off to be honest. Oh, I don't think I can without unscrewing a little bit. Damn, all this screwing, it makes my hands hurt. Oh, there we go. 
So it's revealed different size torque screws. I mean, why do they? I don't know. Or, or maybe they're just a different finish on the top. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're just a different, they look different sizes, but they're not actually. I shall show you what I mean. Oh, she says, I think this is smaller. No, no, it isn't. Talking nonsense. Walking nonsense. Okay, so let's have a little look here. This should be nice and easy. Oh, I mean, yummy, yummy. Look at the state. Ugh. I mean, this stinks. I've now realised this is where the smell is coming from. This is the oily kitchen, disgusting smell I could smell. It wasn't the ice maker. That is one heavy motor. Whew. Okay, so let's undo the bits we can undo. I mean, they are beefy mixers, so you can see why they've got a nice beefy motor. I really hope that's copper, but you know what? It doesn't, it doesn't look that coppery actually but we'll get it out and we'll have a little play with it and i might have to strip this bun folks to see exactly what we get out of it because normally i let them build up because i but then it's another massive task like the plugs so perhaps we'll just strip as we go along and get that lovely copper goodness right so many torque screws so little time. Okay. That mouldy fat is making me want to puke a little, I'll be honest. But uh, <laughs> hey ho, massive capacitor in there as well. That's that's interesting. I'm... Mm. Nice big switchy switch. Not quite. switches we just have to pop off of the plastic like so let's freed that up okay okay so let's just stretch this out oh it splashed on my face ew <laughs> Oh dear, the perils of scrapping, hey? I don't like it when it splashes on my face. I have set rules. That is one thing that is a big no, as far as I'm concerned. Keep away from my face with the disgusting scrappy goo. Hands, yeah, can wash that a lot easier. I wear a lot of makeup, folks. I don't want stuff splashing up around round my eyes. Oh, I'm actually, oh, I'm stupid. Never fear, I've got my glasses on. I forget I'm wearing them most of the time. Right. Um. Okay, so. We're gonna have to, quite a lot of water in that still. I don't know why I just poured it into the bin bag, it's not the most sensible idea, but I can't bother to go out the shed. All right, okay, so we can, Actually, there might be some access points under here. Shall we have a look? Shall we have a little look and see? Ta da! Fabulous. I'm using this little screwdriver. Whoa! Pew! Instead of. Um, my chisel because this is it's got, got such a nice fine little point on it and that's what you need Pew! <laughs> that's what you need so you know i think we might have to go bigger here yeah 25 
No, 30? Oh, gosh, that is a big one. Oh dear. Let's just give it a dink in. <sighs> Holy moly. a good socket set that magnuson set it would just you know if i could just not lose them all it would be great yeah baby cooking on gas now that's what i love about this little impact sometimes it's rubbish but at other times it does just what i need it to do i'm just going to give it Dinky dink. Just to get things loosening up in here. Um, okay, I think something's locking it in with this jobby here. Let me see. Yes. All right. Okay. Well, I'm not going to put a grinder in there. I'm going to smash it. Because I feel like it. So... It's really annoying when you've got a motor that you can't I haven't got my sledgehammer which is annoying uh, let me think, let me think, let me think you need to undo those damn bolts, you know. Okay, there's another switch there that I want. I have that. Thank you. Right, now, yummy, yummy, capacitor clip off there, right, very rusted. <laughs> Very, very rusty. Okay, so I'm just going to use the fact that one bolt is out to put a bit of... Okay, so if I can't undo the bolts, I'll try the other way. Now that I can... Now that I've actually got the top off, and actually hold it very rusty yeah baby and there's one slipped out my hands come on baby oh there's always one I do not want to shear that off so Always bloody one, isn't there? Always. Right now that I've let's see. Let's see. It's because that's bent, isn't it? Bucker. That's annoying. Well, I'm not gonna spend too much time trying to get it off. <laughs> I'll just do it that way. Sort it. 
Right, some nice cast there. Yum yum. And da -dun 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 -dun. Oh, yummy. So, nice chunky bit of steel there. But obviously, I want. The aluminium off of that. Ripped it free. That's annoying. Oh man, my blade's not sharp enough. Charge. Well, that's annoying. It needs a new blade anyway. Just make an absolute bloody mess of this one. Okay, well, I need a new blade for the reciprocating saw because it's just making an absolute hack job of that. Should be so easy to just slice that off. Um, so I'm going to have to do it the old fashioned way by hand. I mean, and not everybody's got these tools anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But it's, it's a lot harder doing it this way. So I just have to go around snipping the copper okay usually I have a specific spanner for this an old scrap spanner and I cannot find it which is really annoying me um, but so usually I've got a scrap spanner that I just put inside after you've cut the top bits. Now usually I would have cut across, but my tools are deciding they don't want to work today, just to annoy the hell out of me. So you put the spanner on, and then I just tap out the copper. Um, and it really is as easy as that. And then out it comes. Um, I don't want to wreck the my good spanners but um i think i think this will do the job so i'm just going to go around you can just see it working out there you go all the way around and you just actually pull the yummy copper out so i'm just going to do that but I think I'll speed it up for you because it might be a little boring.
So, if you get a stubborn bit like that, give it a little crush in your vise and it should loosen up the... Uh, The other way I do it sometimes, it's just being really stubborn, push it, clamp it and hammer it that way. Last bit here, this is the bit that mangled and I was trying to see if any of it's actually loose. No, so what I will do with this one, is I will grab it like so and I'm going to hammer it forward and that will just force the bits open that it's attached to and then it should got to do is just loosen a bit and then voila Whew. leave no cobble behind folks right so made a big mess doing that sort of style <laughs> in the shred now let's see how much copper we got shall we Okay, obviously I've lost a bit. I made a hell of a freaking mess, as usual, on my workbench. But I mean, there are worse messes to have, to be honest. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got. That magic mix. Bum ba da bum. Magic mix. Um, I don't go to the gym. Oh no. Oh no. I've lost a bit to that battery as well. Okay. Right. Oh. <laughs> So annoying. Do not fall out, please. Okay. So that massive, really heavy motor has only got half a kilogram of copper in it. <sighs> but forget the weights, people. Ah! Uh, oh look, it's even turned itself into a heart for me. Yeah, it's because you loves me. Okay. So, what's next? That was that beast. Oh, and obviously, yeah, there's some zinc and some aluminium as well. Um. So I'm gonna have to do that too. There we go. Wow. 
It's interesting when your scrap reminds you of things sometimes. Now what what is it that these are reminding me of? Just can't think. It's not coming to me. Nope. I mean this one's sustained an injury. Uh -huh. Okay, right. Right. Okay. Let's find something. Oh, I was going to bring something to scrape that up with, and I forgot. Which is annoying, isn't it? Hey ho. Okay, right, next. Okay, I did a mini stack not that long ago. This is a Sony one. It's actually got an um, iPod dock there. It's such a shame no one wants these anymore. And that the charity shops won't even take them. So what can you do? Can't give it away. So scrap it. Now for a Sony, this is not particularly heavy. And it should have, by rights, a nice transformer in it. But... Doesn't feel like it to me, sadly. So we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Plastic. Go of my hammer. Oh, missed one. Missed several, actually. I didn't turn it over. <laughs> what a rookie. There we go. It's falling apart nicely. Where the hell's the transformer? Oh my gosh. The best bonus to these usually, look at that copper tape, is um, the transformer. Oh, look at that measly little transformer in there. No wonder it wasn't heavy. Sheesh. Not okay, Sony. No wonder it stopped working. Not okay at all. So, yeah, I um, I very much do like smashing stuff up in here because this is my exercise. I love it. I can go hammer time crazy. That's <laughs> the way Solis is going to build her arm muscles is with strapping, not jogging around and going to the gym and all that other stuff that I would just not want to be doing. Actually, I'm not going to bother taking that off because it's just, it's just the buttons. And I'm going to have to, to... I can't put that in the screen. It's too much plastic. Um, oh, man, it's so many. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it the really bad, lazy way. I can't be bothered to do all of those little screws. the IC chip and that's it and nothing 
nothing or nothing or nothing. Okay. I'm not always quite so uh, hammer happy. If you're new here, don't panic. But I mean, you know. We all have limits. And I'm not going to waste my time when a hammer can get the job done. Okay, so there's your transformers. Big one, little one. Fuse. Ferrite toroid. <sighs> not a lot in here, so to be honest. So they'll go into motors and transformers. Basically. Oh, I missed that relay. How did I miss that relay? Obviously relays we take. Motors and Transformers. Okay. So there are some MOSFETs on this board. Obviously singles wide. Don't you just hate it when you do a load of filming? And then you discover, once you've actually finished taking the item apart, that your battery died on your GoPro. Oh. <laughs> so I'm going to have to come back to you. And show you what I actually got. Okay, well, really annoyingly, um, my battery died, so I'm not quite sure where you saw up to, but um, basically, this um, is a little bit of the board that was left, the transformers, it was really small. Um, yeah, so that's a bit of a bust really because oh, I don't know where you saw to so all, all I've done is just um, I'm just going to cherry pick little bits off um, the board basically like that so I want to get the MOSFET off of there so yeah um, a little bit of aluminium and the MOSFET. So let's move on to something else because it wasn't that great, was it? And that'll just go into shred. Need a bigger shred bag. It's getting a bit messy. I've been <coughs> right. Let's let's figure out what we're going to do next. Um, I did show this, but I don't know whether that filmed either. So I just took this off, and you can see. The copper plate there so I'll chuck that in with my MOSFETs and just let those add up too. Take that back so um, these both had a MOSFET on them however this one is aluminium this one isn't this one's magnetic really annoying they're usually on a little Bit for a heat sink, so it's annoying that I have started finding ferrous ones of these, just decreases that value of that a little bit more. Go, hey ho! Okay, so I have a Kindle now. I don't know what the um, board will be like inside this, so let's have a look. Let's have a look and see. Why not? Um, let's pop on some glasses. I'm just going to give it a little dink. Can't see. An easy way in. I thought the screen, I thought it might detach a bit. 
Shows you how good these screens are, blimey. Do it on a steel block, because... There we go. There we go. And there we go. Just uh, doing it on the wooden bench wasn't quite enough to follow through. Well, that's the battery. That's the little board. There. Um, so this was my sister's, so I know it's had it. And she said, you know, can you do anything with this? I said, yes, I can. I can recycle it. Take it apart. Do what needs to be done. So... It smells very chemically. The battery is very stuck in there somehow. There's a nice bit of aluminium in there, actually. So, teeny weeny screws. Um, what I love about this tiny screwdriver, it's got a big handle on it so that you can actually get a good grip still. Quite often with these tiny screws, I just break them if it's not something, you know, I'm trying to dismantle carefully or anything. But let's at least try with this one to... I don't always just smash stuff up. Some stuff, you know, I don't want to smash bits of screen all over the shed. The screens I want to take. Um, I haven't actually got any screens built up at the moment, so. But I have got some TVs behind me ready to do, and some monitors, um, and so then I can take all of the screens. Um, I usually do my little screen trick where. I open up one of the things and I put them all in one and then shut it and then <laughs> take it for recycling just so they don't get mad at me for coming with lots. Okay, so this is interesting. Look at this ribbon wire. It's got very solid gold. No, that's a misleading. It's a very solid ribbon wire with gold plating on it. And a flat pack IC chip too. So that's not your average ribbon wire, folks. That's good. Interesting. That's revealed some more on this board here. I did actually come up here a little while ago, but I ended up on a video called some other YouTube community folks. So it, um, I couldn't film, and so I got... Got a bit behind. Right, here we go. Here's the tiny board. Got some more gold plating here for this port for the jack there. Um, nothing special on the back here. Teeny, teeny, teeny MLCCs. Um, tiny little flat pack. But on this side. That's stuck on there, that's annoying. There's obviously a, I think it's a, is that a IC or a BGA or what? I'm not sure. I'll just pull that off. Um, but here you've got a gold band crystal oscillator. Uh, some BGAs here. That's actually another tiny, tiny gold band crystal oscillator there. Woohoo! Um, the colour of that shielding there is interesting i wonder what we've got going on there let's see that is unusual 
Where's that? Initially, I thought maybe it was like copper shielding, but it's not scratching well, and you've got that underneath, so I'm really not sure if that what that is, to be honest. And obviously, it's golden colour. It's peeling off like gold leaf but obviously why would that be gold plated there I don't know don't know interesting not seen that before um and then you've got obviously a bit more of a special chip under here maybe like the optical chip or something does this have a camera on it I don't think it does actually. So, hmm, no idea. No idea. It's one of the older Kindles that didn't have cameras. I know they, they meant initially for reading, right? But newer ones do have cameras. So, okay, so that's that. We've got an aluminium base under here. Let's see if we can get to it without too much smashy, smashy. I can hear the rain again. I know what it's like everywhere else, but sheesh. Rain down here. Rain down south, down here. Teeny screws, these. Let's see. That's the battery. She's oh, stuck. One half's come off. Oh, the glue smells super strong. Okay, there we go. Again, I think. That might be zinc again. It's almost like it's like plastic, but it isn't. It's just such a thin layer that I can snap it. Yeah, strange, hey? Strange. So that's the back of the screen. There's a, there's aluminium here, which I think I've pretty much done all the screws actually for. If I'm going to tear it down, I'm going to tear it right down, right? Because why wouldn't I? So, there's the screen. And what we want... Uh... Okay, darling. I'll be in in about ten minutes. Jimmy's, co Jimmy's come in for a minute. Okay, I'll come. Right. Here we have... Just try and... Oh my god, where did that come from? Oh! Oh my god. Where did that even come from? Behind your bath. I've got a giant queen wasp in here. Lazy spa. Empty the water. Wait, I need something to catch that thing in. <gasps> I don't want you to get stung, darling. That is absolutely massive. I need a pot, I need a pot, I need a pot. I'm sorry, but you're not making a nest in my shed. Oh my god. 
rid of mine out, mine out. That's okay, it's gone, it's gone. It's okay, there was a big wasp. Well, I mean, sometimes you just have to, it's not all just about scrap. You have to show this kind of thing. Look at that sky. How beautiful is that? Look at those colors. Amazing. Wow. Wow, what a sunset, hey? Gosh. And it's instantly dark. Um, that wasp, where did that come from? Goodness me, that was... Yeesh. Give me spiders and rodents any day. Don't want things that are gonna sting and bite me. Okay, so, another little, wait. Yeah, another bit of aluminium there. And some more ribbon wire that's got the gold on it. So there we have the uh, Kindle. Hmm. Another bit of aluminium there actually. That weird chip thing. Oh, damn. That's well stuck on there, I have to say. Oh, there we go. Strong for such a. I wonder if it's actually. Stainless. I'm going to have to test that. It's it's not bending like aluminium at all. At all. So. Okay. That's just the underside. So there we go. There's. Kindle. So I can basically just throw a bit of tape. Oh no, wait. I put the batteries back in, don't I? First, we've got some nice connectors on this little battery board. Let's open that up. Okay. See here? Ah, yummy. One. The nice gold connectors in there. That. Little copper connectors. Bad little tiny bit extra. Okay, so there we go. Screen, batteries, and basically just we'll just uh, some of that is actually clipped back in. <laughs> Result. So that can now go off for recycling, as it is. Put that on there, good. 
Okay, so. More connectors. Interesting little bits in that Kindle, I have to say, that I didn't necessarily. So just for now, to keep them together, I'm just going to put them in that little pot. More aluminium. Oh yeah, I wanted to get into this and I just see, just have a little look see what's in here. But it's interesting. This is why I love scrapping. Still, now I come across stuff I've not seen before. What the heck is this? Answers on a postcard, please, folks. very magnetic it's literally a magnet <laughs> it's just like little speakers it's just attached to a speaker thing doesn't look, doesn't look audio but it's giving me audio vibes because it's got copper around the edge a bit like the inner bit of a speaker the heck is this? Solid though, whatever it is. There we go. Oh, it's opened up. Yes, it is a speaker, isn't it? That's why it's magnetic. Oh, it's such a strong little magnet as well. Let's put that little magnet there. Ooh. It's got the strength of a neodymium, I tell you. So then here, we've got just that little that little bit of copper. <laughs> And then, this is weird, this is, this weird stuff that's on this, it's like cardboard with a little tiny metal, oh that long guy, yeah. thing is I didn't think those old Kindles had like audio in fact there's no volume on the side so I don't get it was there wait a minute no there wasn't so oh okay there are speakers that is the speakers well wow. Stranger. Okie doke. Right, let's go. Let's move on to something else. What do we got? What do we got? Okay. I've got this old Yamaha amplifier. Now, unfortunately, it was stored outside, ready for going to the dump. 
and uh, yeah, it's ruined because it's all wet. Hasn't been stored properly. Um, I was told it's not working. Wow, look at the dust in there. But um, it came from someone who got rid of a few uh, electronics at the same time. That is so dusty. <laughs> um, not a massive transformer for what you can get in amps. I really like the... Um, um, it's mouldy. Yeah. The toroidal transformers, obviously. Let's try my... So my husband gave me some more screwdrivers. I need to mark them because I don't know what's what. Might do it. Um, yeah, sweet. Um, he needed the really tiny ones in the set. You know, like the ones like these, these precision ones. So they gave me the rest. I was like, yes, please, thank you. <laughs> I will never say no to free screw drivers and tools of any description. So, get this transformer out and have a look. Obviously, the board, not much to it, is there? Ugh, 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 ugh. Ew. Okay. Small, but this is very heavy. This transformer, it will be a good transformer. You can see all that gorgeousness in there. Look at that! Now, that is without a doubt gorgeous copper. We'll weigh that up, see what we get out of that. So yeah, just gonna basically do a bit of clearing up in here. I just couldn't see because of the dust thing on battery shining out on the impact here. I find squeezing stuff like that quite awkward. I don't have the best wrists. I'm in the wrong game really. <laughs> I could feel something, it was copper stabbing me in the leg. I was paranoid that it was another creepy, creepy, creepy. It's better. All right. There's a. Oh, this is when I need mechanic snips. Doing MOSFETs, heat sinks. Oh, I say hello. Brown chikawawa. Well, these are lovely MOSFETs because you can see the big copper plate in there. Look at the thickness of it. And we've even got a bit on the outside of some of these ones. Nothing to be sniffed at. God, I could I could just do this all day. If I'm not watching people doing it, I can just do it myself all day. <laughs> Either or. These are quite heavy. Um, they're really nice. Look at that. Whew. Big uns. Big and big and big uns. Very nice. Very messy, but very nice. And you've got this nice bit of aluminium as well. I love the sound of aluminium. I love it. Right, so uh, this board can just basically be 
snapped up because there's nothing of massive value. I'm, just, I'm looking for my glasses again. These little little glasses I keep losing because they're just they're not. Oh, there they are. They're just they're just too small for me to keep my eye on, basically. This bit, we've got a lovely relay. Look, I love it when they're see-through and you can see the beauties inside. Look at it. I mean, that is sexy as sexy electronic components can be, isn't it? Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> I think that's very, very nice. And I shall be yoinking that right now. Love it. Hello? Okay. There we go. Yum. Yummy. I might even just keep that one. Yum. I know, I'm such a weird woman. Um, right. I know that those of you who are watching me nearly all of you understand though <laughs> i know some of you who are watching me are thinking what the hell but i know the rest of you you get it <laughs> then we have some beautiful coppery goodness yum yum so that's that and then well there's another one actually take that one as well Oops. Um, I mean, you've got these ceramic capacitors there. I suppose they could be all right on this old Yamaha. So I'll take those. There's no like gold legged diodes or anything like that in here. Um, but we've got some more <laughs> copper bearing goodies here. <laughs> And some more aluminium. There's your aluminium. And when you do these sort of things a lot, these little components that most people haven't got time for, my God, do they add up. Like, they, they really add up. Um, if you've got the time to, you know, grab them, then grab them. Cordage. We've got some switches in here. This is interesting. Let's get in there and have a look. Yeah. Yummy. I'll have that as well. What is that made of? because it's discolouring not in a manner that copper discolours <sighs> it looks brass maybe that's hmm. okay well, that was an interesting little component wasn't it and then obviously there's a switch there that is quite interesting isn't it there's a massive ceramic capacitor here. I don't think it's a varist. I mean, it, it does look like... It is. Yummy. Those for Irony Alley. Right, that's it. Okay, I got this, what is that, AOC? Uh, mm, TV, I think. Mm, I'm not actually sure if it's a monitor or a TV. Oh, it's a monitor, okay. Fair enough. It's got HDMI cable, so maybe it's both. So, chunky. 
let's have a little look at this. Okay, you've got heat sink, you've got a little little um, IC under there, and that's it really, God. Let me just have a look in here before I make a real mess that I don't want to be responsible for cleaning up. So this is what I want. I want this sheet of Perspex out the back here. There's a lot of other sheets in there, but I'm not interested in those. I'm interested in this. That's a good one, isn't it? So many uses and this is so pristine and unscratched I like it now these are handy for decorating moving washing machines I know that sounds bonkers but it's true if you've got an appliance in a really tight space if you put these underneath they just slide right out it's honestly it's just so good this is all wet as well so i'm going to have to just take that separately for recycling and then just take this back together et voila okay so another little bit of non-ferrous beauty there interesting screw hmm. it's magnetic there so That's just plastic. Uh, and then this chunky bit of goodness here. Let's see how something sharp. Hmm. It's very nice. Just push out. Oh yeah. Okay. Interesting. See, I love it. I love these kind of as a spring components Boing. <laughs> this is just a little tiny bit of padding on the aluminium there I mean look at that this bit which I 
looks like stainless like a massive chunky wad of stainless let's just see if it sparks no sparky wait why oh my gosh She's only found copper. Holy, what the? What? Like, what? Why would that be? Why? Oh my gosh, look at that. I don't understand. I don't get it. Holy macaroni! I just don't understand why this is a big chunk of copper. Well, just when you think you've seen it all, very occasionally, Scrap throws you a uh, nice little curveball. Ah, oh, as I suspected. Okay. Well, weirdly, this is copper-plated under here. There's a there's a layer of copper, but it isn't copper all the way. As you can see here from these bigger grooves. Isn't that odd? Huh. Because I saw these bits and thought, mm, hang on a minute. But, I mean, so odd. That was connecting to the base. I guess some kind of heat sink to draw the heat away from the TV. Never seen that before. Uh, isn't, isn't that interesting? So, I think that's probably enough. I've probably bored you to death by now. Um, but yes, I just want to say basically thanks for watching. I'm loving tearing stuff down. I mean, I'm probably going to do some more, but um, I don't, I don't want this video to be too long and boring, <laughs> although I do love spending time with you, but I need to call it a day here because I need to go and edit this beast, um, so I can get it out for tomorrow, but yes, um, plan for the week, uh, it's half term, so I will be taking a trip to the seaside, go around the charity shops and the antique shops, love it, obviously last time I got my brassy loo, oh, when I came back, but I didn't show you what else was in the bundle, did I? So I came back and got the brass loot on eBay. It was a little brassy bundle. Let me show you what was else was in the brassy bundle. So it was ten pounds um, and three pounds something postage, um, which is fine because in the antique shop they were asking twenty five pounds for that brass loot. So we got. A bell. What would that be on, folks? That looks almost like one of the horse ones, but hmm, don't know. We've got one of the little brassy ladies. This little parakeet. No makers anything. It's cute though. It's heavy. These little brassy pigs, <coughs> excuse me, little brassy pig, piggy pigs, there, <laughs> and a brass duck, I guess, that's meant to be a duck, 
So yeah, these are lovely and cold and just mm, yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I am coming, darling, I'm coming now. Nice. Okay, oh, climb back over. Okay guys, well thanks for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Bye. Please leave a comment and a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Wah, 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 wah.